and you look me in the eyes because you the whole time you look at me for a little bit and then you smile and look away yeah and I think you look like that <laughs> but just understanding that the quality of love never stays the same when you're with someone this is one of the things that I've learned probably the most greatest about it is that the love that we have in the beginning we expect it to be the same later when actually it shifts and changes the quality of it becomes deeper so to try to be attached to the way it used to be before is very juvenile to understanding what love means as this continuously changing thing The truth is, we've never been taught truly how to connect with people we don't know. That don't just go for men, that also goes for women. True connection needs to be relearned. And that's what I'm going to talk about today. Yes, you'll see me speak to this girl, but the truth is, is just because she's there doesn't mean that she learned properly how to connect with someone. Hello. What's going on? Hello. Oh, All right, don't sorry. worry. Don't worry. Don't, you don't need to be scared. I'm just coming to say hello to you. Okay. Hi. This, yeah. This is not like uh, something strange. So this is the first time this happened to you. Uh, yeah. It is. I wonder why you reacted so harshly. Yeah. Well, I guess there's many ways to meet people, and I include all of them. And I think you are a pretty girl. And I love all the tattoos. Thank you. <laughs> and now I'm looking, you actually have a pretty good style. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Are you into something that has to do with spirituality? Uh, no, not really. I just like the way they look. Hello. Like different designs. And now you look so weird to me. Well, I might be a little bit weird sometimes. I don't know. Yeah? Well, my name is Anthony. I'll do a proper introduction. My name is Anthony. Okay, Sandra, nice to meet you. Sandra? A uh, why Budapest? Uh, I don't know. It just seemed like a nice place to go, basically. Is that it? Yeah. Why not? And I'm guessing this is your first time because you said it seemed like a nice place to go. Yeah, it's my first time. Hmm. Yeah, this place is my favorite city so far. Oh yeah. Have yeah. you been here before? No, oh, I live here. Oh, okay. Yeah. Taking pictures? Uh, what yeah. a tourist! Yeah. Just a tourist. I'm doing the whole tourist thing today, basically. Yeah. Yeah. So just walking around. I know. I know. I know. This is this strange <laughs> for you, because I can. I can tell this is still a little bit uncomfortable for you. Yeah, I'm not used to this. Really. <laughs> yeah. What do? What do you plan to do while you're here? Uh, just. Relax, I guess, walk on the see, 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 stuff. Didn't really plan anything. Just basically like going with the flow. Yeah. Seems like that. Okay, well, uh, you can continue on. Yeah, well, it was nice meeting you. I'm gonna go. I'll see yeah, you. Bye bye. bye. What does that mean? I say you're walking so like. It's like there's a great grace to it. Thank you. Hello. I know it's very unusual for somebody to tell you your walk so graceful, but you do. Hmm? You're not in a rush. No, I have nothing to do right now, so I'm just enjoying my coffee. But it's nice. You're so girly. You have like these flower earrings and this thing in your thing. hair. Yes, it is to me. Say it one more time. You speak very, very low. What did you say? And I'm not very good at expressing my feelings, so I just read. You read about expressing feelings? Yes. Do you read about expressing feelings so you can become better at expressing feelings? Maybe. You need somebody like me in your life, then. <laughs> you do. Because I 
love expressing feelings. No, through like, well, feelings is through energy. So I love expressing myself energetically. Not just like, like imagine if I ran up to you and I was like, <laughs> imagine if I did this. Excuse me. Like imagine if I did that. <laughs> You'll be like, oh, this is strange. But because I was like, she walks so gracefully and slowly, she's not in a rush. And I'm able to see things like grace very easily. Is this very unusual for you to meet somebody like this? A little bit different. I'm enjoying being here with you. <laughs> Do you know that? Yeah, I'm enjoying being here with you because uh, you don't. You have these moments where you don't really know what to say, and you want to smile, but you stop yourself from smiling. That's the thing. Can you ask me a question? Because I know you, you're not shy. I don't think you're shy, but I think you just listen more than you speak. That's actually correct. <laughs> yeah, so uh, ask me a question. I would like for you to ask me a question. Any question? How about me? Don't say where you're from, because I'm going to be like, oh my god. Where, where, where is she trying to go? You asked me what's my biggest dream. Yeah. Do you mean like what do I want to aspire to be? You know how people are like little and they're like what I want to be in life is this. Do you mean that? No, I mean... <laughs> what's your biggest dream now to be or to... What, what kind of person you would like to be? more of what I'm doing right now. Like this is very true to me because I did like you when I saw you. <laughs> so doing more of things like this, but in smaller ways. Because I think sometimes I can overthink it or become frustrated because I should be a certain way. So yeah. Okay. yeah. <laughs> but where are you from? <laughs> <laughs> but I'm actually curious. So. I'm from Chicago. And what are you doing here? I live here. <clears throat> I moved here 2015. And I've been here ever since. And now I'm getting a residence permit because I want to live here. <clears throat> because it's so great <laughs> to live here. You don't yeah. think so, do you? I mean. <laughs> That's fine. I just was trying to get to know, like, what's your reason for not wanting to be here? Because everybody has a different reason. And for me, I want to be here. And do I think the government is good? No. But um, I do like staying here because I find Hungarians to be sweet people to me. They show you what they feel. And these are things that I really like. Um, I want to hang out with you right now. Do you want to go for a walk? Yeah. yeah. And you look me in the eyes because you, the whole time, you look at me for a little bit and then you smile and look away. Yeah. yeah? And I think. You look like that? <laughs> Do 
I learned a lot about love, though, to be honest. Not like in the sense of love is this, love is that, but just understanding that the quality of love never stays the same when you're with someone. This is one of the things that I've learned probably the most greatest about it, is that the love that we have in the beginning, we expect it to be the same later when actually it shifts and changes. The quality of it becomes deeper. So to try to be attached to the way it used to be before is very juvenile to understanding what love means as this continuously changing thing. Okay, you just can't stare off into the distance. You have to, I want you to engage with me, okay? Because you, you just keep staring off into the distance like this until I ask you something else. Okay. Does, this, does this feel strange to you in any way? A little bit? I guess when two people first meet, it could be different because they don't know anything about them but that's the beauty <clears throat> Lila you're gonna have to try you're gonna have to try <laughs> because you're not you can't just sit here and just listen huh because that's not really getting to know somebody what do you mean why it doesn't have to be something like last year I went skydiving it doesn't have to be something like that <clears throat> It could be, I really like to cook or something like this. But I need, but, but I need for you to tell me though, not me try to dig for it. I said, you made it seem that it wasn't interesting to tell me that you were doing piano for nine years. Do you think it's not interesting? Is it because you don't do it anymore? Is that why? Yeah. Oh, okay. But why exactly did you stop? I'm ready to go. I can sing. Yes. No, I can't. I can't. I can't sing. I'm really bad at it, actually. I can't sing. You are so cute to me. You are. You're really cute to me. The way you look, your smile, your energy. It just, it just feels like cute, and I like it. Leela, her name is Leela. She has a Leela. <laughs> I've seen these homeless people fight so many times. Do you know that? Yes, I've seen them fight so many times. Like fight each other and fight people. Like if you spend if you spend enough time in the center, I think you would you would probably be traumatized because you would be like you'll see that a lot people screaming at each other you see all kind of stuff. I bless you. <sighs> I feel like I'm gonna collapse. So in this situation, as you could see, 
both girls actually struggled <clears throat> with getting to know you. And some people might even say, yeah, but that's not like most girls. Even girls who are talking to you very normally, and it seems like they know how to connect, they don't truly know how to. We were never taught the real way to connect. We were taught if you have similarities, then you have connection. We were also taught that opposites attract. All these things to try to make us seem like, okay, we know how to connect, when in actuality, neither is needed. The number one thing that allows two people to come together, the element that's the strongest, is curiosity. Simply, when two people are very curious about each other, connection is there. If one is curious and the other one is not, connection isn't there. If both are curious, connection will always be there. So that tells you that Forget about differences, forget about similarities. Two things that are actually really great when it comes to getting to know somebody and just focus on being curious about the person, receiving the person, being there with the person. As I was speaking to the second girl, you noticed that it was more important that she was sharing stuff with me than me having to always ask questions. So I even prompt her to do it. It's not enough when I'm talking to a girl for her to just listen and respond. It's not good enough. Sharing is a part of two people coming together. That's the uniqueness of when two people come into one space. There's an ability for both to share. The curiosity allows both to really have the space to do that. But the wanting to share, the coming out, the I want to share something with this person, is when it's really there. This is why she said that the awkward part of the conversation wasn't me and her asking each other questions. The awkward part is when I said, share something with me. That was when it got awkward for her because we weren't properly taught to just share things. We believe connection only happens when I'm asking a question and then she shares something. When she asks a question, and then I share something. No, connection is happening when both people are there totally, and they're curious about the other, and they're willing to share for themselves. And in the space, we share the silence together. This is true connection. I have some spots left still for my Budapest gathering. It's the last one of the summer that I'm going to do in Europe because I'm off to America after that. I won't be back until next year. So if you want to know more about that, please go below in the description box and click the link that says Budapest Gathering Seminar Info and Tickets. I have no more spots left this year. I'm not free anymore this year. All of my spots is gone, so I'm sorry if you want to do coaching. You'll have to wait until next year. I didn't know that they were going to fill up so fast, so you have to forgive me, but that's the way that it's going to be. And I know in the future, they will fill up fast, so you don't have time to think about, should I do it now or should I do it later? Because I'll give it to the guy who I know wants to change. My website is also beneath. If you want to see about my insights and the things that I talk about and when is my gatherings and when I'll come to your city. I also have a free Meet to Bear Room series. Please, if you feel like you're starting out, this, she's very pretty. <laughs> if, if you're starting out, please, this is for you. Free Meet to Bear Room, everything from hello to how do you take her upstairs. And like I always say, who you are is valuable, valuable for that which you want in life and in relation to women. It's just realizing it. I'll talk to you in a few days.